Particularly bowlers who, who uh, don't come to the fore too often, and Henry Alonga surprised Sachin one day with some tremendous pace and had him fending and caught in the galley, and, and Sachin was absolutely livid. He, he, he got a very low score, it might have even been naught, but it was a very, un, a very, very ungainly shot. And uh, this, uh, you know, Henry Alonga obviously delighted, this, and all the Zimbabweans were all over the place. Uh, the unfortunate thing for them is that they had to play him again in the final and I think he'd really set his sights on Henry Alonga. Uh, and he went after him and, and had a little bit of luck, just one piece of luck, which, uh, you know, he, hit, he went to the ball so hard, it went for six over, just over third man's head, just lobbed over. And after that, poor old Henry, I mean, he didn't know what it did. I mean, he'd been, he was absolutely battered into the ground and uh, I think Sachin had a point to prove. And it's amazing when a batsman is... Um, has that sort of scenario and that, that, that's where you see he seems a, a mild man at times but uh, when he gets that steely glint in his eye he, he can be as ruthless as anybody. If I remember correctly that's when Henry Alonga bowled really quick and he, he knocked Suchin over a couple of times or uh, certainly once in, in what for Suchin would probably be an embarrassing fashion and it was really interesting other than seeing Henry bowl quick at a, uh, one of the, or the best batsman in the world it was very interesting to see Sachin come back from that and almost be determined to teach Henry and these uh, cocky little Zimbabweans a lesson. And he, d he did exactly that and he, he spanked us all over the place uh, in an amazing display um, of which there are only a couple of people that can bat like that and he's one of them. My, my initial goal was to, to try and bowl well up front, try and get a, a couple of breakthroughs. You know, they're, they're, they're about a long way down. There wasn't just Tendulkar to contend with. There was, there was also Ganguly and Dravid, and and they have a decent top order. So my initial goal was to get a breakthrough, and I was lucky enough to get two, and then three. Well, Henry, what can I say? One day it's your day, the next it's not. That is the beauty of this game. A cricket classic today could well be called the Tendulkar versus Olanga contest. We feature the last two matches from the Champions Trophy played in 1998 between Zimbabwe and India, who met in the final. Both these teams beat Sri Lanka twice. Yes, Sri Lanka failed to win even a single game in this event. As Barry and Andy said, Henry was bowling quick. So let's see what happened. The last preliminary match, Zimbabwe lost the toss and were put into bat by Ajay Jadeja. They made 205 for seven, a modest total. Alastair Campbell, the only man to pass 30, was 83 not out. So India need 206 at 4.12 per over. So here's the Indian reply. In the commentary box, Ravi Shastri and Michael Holding. Henry Olanga is bowling to Saurav Ganguly. So Olanga on his way now to Ganguly. Wrapped on the pads and he's gone. What a start here for Henry Olanga. We said he could be pretty nippy. That trapped Ganguly plumb in front. Steve Dunn had no hesitation in lifting the figure. And Henry Olanga is struck with his very first delivery. But at last, something for the Zimbabwean supporters to get up and cheer about. Henry Alonga, I think the only problem is whether this ball actually pitched in line with the stumps, because it certainly would have hit the stumps. Must have been some doubt exactly where the ball pitched. But umpire Steve Dunn had no doubt that it pitched in line. It's 10 for 1. left-hander facing up to a right-handed bowler coming over the wicket if you are hit in line with mid stump and the ball is not coming back into you as a left-hander you will see this ball actually going away from the left-hander going towards the slips and you can see that he has been hit in line with mid stump there as a 
Rahul Dravid now is the new man who's come out. He's had a good look at the Zimbabwe bowling on the tour of uh, Zimbabwe recently. Got 100 in the test match in the first innings, 40 odd in the second. Two for test matches and drop it's off the mark here so that will get Tendulkar on strike so he's already hit a couple of boundaries Tendulkar this should be a good contest Langa is going to charge in Well, that's a tribute to the young man that he's worked on his game. It can be so discouraging when very early on in your career you're told to get your action right. So two runs and a wicket in that over for Henry Olonga. 12 for one. Now that's exactly the case. Uh, Michael Holding was making in the previous over one area where he has to improve Rahul Dravid is try to work the ball into the gaps there's nothing wrong with his timing his technique it's the placement that he's got to work on that's nicely timed and good pace of fielding will keep the batsman down to one seems that if Captain Alistair Campbell isn't on the field. That was Evans doing a bit of work there as a 12th man. And that'll be wide. Just striving for that extra yard and pace here. Henry Olonga is losing control. Edged and taken. So Olonga has struck again. That's the second wicket for Zimbabwe. Drop it, dismissed. And India now 19 for two. Well, Henry Alonga will be a happy man. Rahul Javid looking the drive on the rise, taking the outside edge, and Johnson taking the catch in the slips. India in a bit of bother here now. It's 19 for two. Be a pretty awkward customer on a bouncy track. The Indian captain has come out to the crease for this game. Jadeja. And a slower delivery to greet him. Well, he's not short of confidence in Rio Longa. <laughs> But Michael just watching uh, Henry Olonga, he obviously has done a lot of work on his action. But pace-wise, looks pretty good. Oh, that's a very good delivery. Jadeja will get off the mark with four, but he was never in control of that shot. An attempted Yorker from Olonga. That's 23 for two. So 25 for two here. Olonga is continuing and to continue in the commentary box, it'll be Tony Gregg and Jeffrey Boycott. Ben Dilke, best player. Oh, shot. Yes, that's uh, nicely placed and uh, some good timing there as well. On the up, they're coming back to the third two. This is good running. Good positive running between these two. about that they, he's got the man out but they're all after big deflection i don't think it would change the shot at all that went straight through to the keeper and uh, look at him <laughs> well he's nice and pumped up yeah he's way over the line no doubt about that 
Well, it's a beautiful delivery. Just sort of left him a bit. And now, tiny little bit of bounce. Caught Tendulka hitting on the up. There it is again. Big Nick, his head goes around Ops. That's the end of that. And then he looks up, and all of a sudden, he sees some umpires on there. Oh, and this one in the air. That's it. All over. Tendulka's out. That's great bowling. Great bowling. He's had it over Tendulka this evening. He played two streaky shots when he first came in. One pass, second slip. He played a streaky drive through the offside in the air. He nicked a no ball, and now he's bobbed one in the air on the offside. These Zimbabweans are turning out to be pretty tough to beat. Well, I thought that was a fantastic delivery. Just when uh, Sachin thought he got away with the nick and the no ball, then he whacks it in short right at him. Just surprises him. He's looking to get forward, I think, Sachin, and that's a little cuckoo to catch. What a big wicket. The well bowled lad really was. 29 for three. Yes, Henry, really well done. Three for 13, and what a three. Dravid, Ganguly, and the prize wicket of Sachin Tendulkar. India 29 for 3, Olunga 3, India nil. Henry was named man of the match. Zimbabwe won by 13 runs. From 29 for 3, there was no way back for India. A valiant effort by Robin Singh with 49 not out. Henry Olunga later got Jadeja his four wickets, finally costing 46. We'll be back soon with the rematch when Sachin gets his revenge and the cocky Zimbabweans. But before the break, a final word from Ranjit Fernando and Henry Olunga. See, I vividly remember that match because uh, see, we saw uh, uh, Henry Olanga after getting these uh, wickets uh, of the Indians, including Sachin and Anganguli, uh, strutting around. And uh, he, I mean, you couldn't blame him. He was young, uh, sort of uh, was very, very uh, uh, worked up uh, in getting those wickets. And uh, sort of, uh, I think the Zimbabweans enjoyed that victory against uh, India. And uh, it was all Henry Olunga's day, and uh, the, uh, the Indians, I think, uh, were a very uh, sort of dejected side. After all, um, Zimbabwe was not uh, uh, the type of side they would have wanted to have lost to at that stage. It was, uh, it was a good day. That happened to be the good day of the two days. Um, basically got the top order out quite cheaply. And that was a good season for me, 98. I was bowling quick, I was strong. And uh, I happened to get such enough... Out, out with the no ball and then I was so incensed with myself that I came back and gave him a great ball that bounced a little and caught the shoulder of his, of his bat and looped to point I think. Murray Goodwin was still playing in the side and he caught it at the time. For some reason this uh, made Mr Tindoka very very angry and in the next game he went absolutely ballistic. That was the final. Then came the, the final and uh, the rematch which uh, everyone was uh, looking forward to. So uh, we were all uh, looking forward to Henry Olonga sort of came in and there were some very good short deliveries to Sachin, uh, believing that um, there was some sort of weakness in the man. And uh, Sachin, the modest cricketer he was, I think acknowledged some of those uh, short ones and then went on to play one of those classic innings. I mean, the 100 was just out of this world, uh, just going to show that uh, if you rile someone like him, it's, you're doing it at your peril. <laughs> well, I, I kind of felt that, you know, it was going to be a tough game and getting 200 and just over 200, I don't know what we got, I think it was 220 or 218, somewhere there. I kind of felt that I knew that we had our backs against the wall and they were going to come hard at us. And obviously it was this big looming battle between Olonga and Tendulka and, and, you know, he, he came hard and, and he, he prospered. Very prophetic, Henry. I hope you have another day like that before you leave the game. Did you know Henry has another string to his bow? He's an entertainer with song and guitar. Welcome back. Time for Chapter 3 of this Tendulkar vs. Olunga contest, the final of the 1998 Champions Trophy. Azruddin was back as captain. He won the toss and also invited Zimbabwe to back first. They made 196 for 9. Top score, Paul Strang with 46. Chavagal Srinath taking 3 for 40. So India require 197 at 3.94 runs per over. Here is Tony Gray to set the scene. 
Right oh, now, the opening batsmen are walking out there, and uh, well, that's uh, Henry Alonga. Look at him charge in. That's just his practice run. Now then, which end are the batsmen going to go to? I suppose that's the next question. Will Tendulkar take him on right away, or will he go and stand down at the non-strikers end? You're an opener, Barry. What did you do? I think they alternate. I mean, I used to like it because obviously the, the bowler wasn't entirely loose, so you always get a little bit of a loose. Now you can get off the mark, but it's, uh, it'd be interesting to see. I think Ganguly normally takes it, and I think he is going to take it. So uh, Sachin's down the other end. We've just got to wait a little while for the contest. Yes, well, Ganguly, uh, if he gets one, rest assured he'll be down the other end because uh, don't forget, Alonga got him as well. So uh, he'll be looking forward to getting down the other end. So, uh, in fact, uh, it's going to be Brandis, Edo Brandis, who's got the ball. So he's at the far end. We are getting a bit carried away there because Alonga was measuring his run-up. I think he wanted that new ball. He wanted to get him straight away. Absolutely. I think it's probably a good thing. Just settle him down a bit. His nerves will be pumped up. But Edo is an experienced bowler. He's been around a long time. I think this is a smart move by Ali Campbell to just give Edo the first over. He's usually spot on. And then uh, let Henry loose. Right. So it's Saurav Ganguly, the left hand up. He's out there with Sachin Tendulkar. They've got a slip and a gully. And uh, there's the Zimbabwe captain getting his fielders in the right place. And Tendulka going through all those shots of his. He's got every single shot in the book. The game's about to get underway in so much as New Zealand about to start their effort with the ball. In your commentary box now, Robbie Shastri, and with him is Michael Holding. Thank you, Johnny. Brendis on his way here. And he starts off with a wide. It's a tremendous excitement here. Zimbabwe aren't defending a big score. 197 the target for the Indians. That's got away for four. That's a cracking shot by Tendulkar. That's got the crowd to their feet. That is what they have come to see. The very first delivery dispatched to the four-point boundary. And Brand is just dragging it down a bit, a bit too short. He should be looking to pitch it up, trying to get a bit of movement. Because that is perhaps the one weakness that Sachin Tendulkar has. Pushing at the ball outside or stop moving away from him. Another single. We'll have to wait for the Empire signal here. Yes, leg by signal by Empire Steve Dunn. So reply to the Zimbabwe score of 196. India 7 for no loss. Still to come, Mohamed Azaruddin, Jadeja, but all eyes on this man now, Henry Olanga. Bowled so well against the Indians in the first game he played here. Four wickets in that match, was also the man of the match. And he was the man who surprised Tendulkar and dismissed him. So we could really have a contest on our hands here. One man who really charges into the crease. He's on his way to Tendulkar. And that's driven. And the man at cover doing well to just get some hand on it. the standard field both the final leg and the third man in place when you have got his sort of pace you need that sort of protection nicely timed on the onside you get two for that that's played a little officially but wide of the man at mid on Pulled back nicely there by Grand Flower. Cannot stop Tendulka from going back for three. And not quite timing it and a sent back by Ganguly. Ganguly didn't want that single. In fact, Tendulka was looking at the ball. Henry Alonga get got away with that last delivery. It was short, it was wide. And perhaps the reason it, he got away was because it was that wide. The ball hitting just on the bottom of Sachin Tendulkar's bat. He could hardly get to it. No response from Saurabh Ganguly. Sachin Tendulkar wants to know why. So he's still on strike. Two slips in place. And this time he smashed it through the offside. That went like a tracer bullet to the fence. Short, wide, asking to be hit, and it got the full treatment. 
This time it wasn't that wide. This time he got hold of it properly. That was hit with power. Not even any thought about him hitting it down into the ground. It didn't matter. And that really came off the middle of the bat. What's going to happen next? Again, attempting that shot. I think the bounce surprised Tendulkar a bit there. Definitely not the right tactics this from Henry Alonga. Short outside the Austin again. Only positive that could have come from that for Zimbabwe would have been if he got a very thin edge. If he got a thick edge, it would have flown over the slip cord and for another boundary. If he's going with bowling short, he has to be bowling a lot to the batsman. In line with the body so that he has to defend. He doesn't play those attacking shots. So I'm just swatting a fly in front of his face. Get these little insects here once the light comes on. Pulled away, wide of the man at on. Not quite timed it. He'll pick up another couple of runs. Again, not quite getting the middle of the bat. Seemed to hit more towards the bottom. Again, it was too wide. Sachin Tendulkar just managing to get the bottom of the bat onto the ball again. He remembers how he got him out in that last game. Short ball, but the ball was a much straighter line. This is giving the batsman just too much room. And certainly there are other ways of getting batsmen out apart from short balls. That's in the air, and that could be out caught, or is it six? It's six. It's gone over that man, the third man. So very good over for the Indians, this. 12 runs have come off it, 26 for no loss. This is the six of the last ball of the over. In fact, that was four earlier on and then after that he's hit a six where he's really flashed it in hard this was when he was beaten this is the pull didn't quite time it just got two for that and then watch this one he's flashed it in hard for a moment it thought as if third man might get around and catch it but it sailed over him and the common factor with all those four deliveries were that they were short and wide driven beautifully through the covers that's a trademark Ganguly shot and that'll give him a boundary oh that was a shot of glass he never seems to be trying to hit the ball too hard sort of Ganguly it's all a matter of timing and placement the gap on the offside this time we'll get just a couple can Lino into it nicely on that occasion Ganguly well as much as I'm fond of Henry along his pace I think that's not his specialty thinking and that's what he's going to add to the quality of his uh, bowling the quality he has he has a bit of raw pace but bowling people out match after match is not just about bowling fast all over the shop you've got to put a bit of thinking to it you've got to use your brain what's between your ears and if you don't learn quickly at this game you get severely punished oh he's had a go at that one not off the middle but it's going to go for four he wants to take him on if it's short he's going to cut or pull and if it's up he's going to go for it 
extreme pressure here. Yeah, he's just whacked right through the line there. Wasn't a bad length ball, actually. But he's now all warmed up and everything. He just wants to dish out a little bit of punishment to the man who got him out in such a, well, surprising, embarrassing way the other night. That's a great shot. That's Maximum. Henry Alonga trying for the slower ball. He telegraphed it. And Sachin Tendulkar just leapt into it. Saw it very early. Not a great slower delivery, but it's really punished. And that's a 50. 7.3 overs. You see, he's all wound up. He's going to smash him out of sight. It's payback time. That's what it is. You made me look stupid on Wednesday night, he's saying. And I'm going to make you look silly tonight. Payback time in a big way. He's so wound up, look. Ganguly went down to talk to him, and he won't talk to Ganguly. And he's just smashed that. You're, you're dead right, uh, Jeff. He's on a roll here. He doesn't want to know anything. He just wants to smash. Wouldn't surprise me to see him run down the wicket. He's in that sort of mood. Just the one this time. Well, rather than uh, Alistair Campbell, rather than take him off, if he keeps him on, we'll all be home for dinner early. We don't need to worry about it. You better get my chauffeur ready. Well, get Ravi Shafri to get my chauffeur ready. We'll all be going home soon. It was a real gamble playing for Alonga. You've got to feel for him. Had such a good game last night. Four overs for 40, it looks like, for him. It was always a gamble. Zimbabwe talked long and hard about it. He does well a lot of no balls, a lot of balls which can be hit to the boundary, but also some wicket-taking ones. It hasn't been tonight. Well, there'll be some booing in a minute. But Tendulkar's off strike. 56 for none. You know, he's a top-class batsman. You have to go for his wicket initially. Any batsman is top-class. You have to go for his wicket initially if you want to contain him or if you want to win the match for the for the team. You can't just uh, stop that batsman initially. You know, just restrict them, you know, because once they are set, it's difficult to get them out. That's good. Good shot. Now, Sarab Ganguly, who's been in really poor nick, this is a good opportunity for him. Everybody's concentrating on Sashin. The crowd, the bowlers, the fielders, because he's hot, is Sashin. Now, Sashin's got, uh, got the players worried, the Zimbabwe players. This is the moment for Ganguly, just to push it around quietly. He doesn't have to try and hit fours. Try and just get a nice 20-30, get in at the other end while everybody's concentrating on Sashin. Wow, you got him early if he gets going. <laughs> well, I don't think his confidence is up. Talking to him, his footwork's not been that good lately and he just needs to get it going. 60 for none. Settling down for bang, no loose nut, only a little bit short. He knows that he can't have a fielder out there, so he's just popped it over mid on. Well, at this pace, he's bowling, he's got to pitch it up, and then he risks getting whacked over the top, but he's got to risk that, he can't be short. He's gone again, this is a big one, that's six. Ball strang, he did the right things, that's not a bad ball. That's a delivery that you need. But Tendulkar in this mood, the ball's not turning. Nice 
a slow wicket for him. So down he went. And whack. Ten off two. sure this was the right move. Edo Brandis is the, the most experienced. Down the track again. He knows it's not turning. Straight through the arc. And back it goes. Well, in all the excitement, 50 for Tendulkar. He only walked out 10 minutes ago. It's actually 48 minutes, but only 28 deliveries. Four, six, not six, two balls to go. Who wants to be a bowler? Not me. This could be out. Keepers under it. And he dropped it. Can you believe it? Absolute dolly. Lack of communication, Paul Strang got in the way, he's got too excited, he wanted to get his man, caught and bowled. And he's got in the way of his keeper now, that is an absolute sin. Well, this is schoolboy stuff, the keeper shouting for it, the keeper's got the gloves, Paul Strang should have got out of the way. Yeah, Paul Strang should have got out of the way, no question. You must leave it to the man with the gloves when he wants to get it. Paul Strang taking some punishment, was keen to get a caught and bowl. What a miss. Schoolboy stuff, it's pleased the crowd, but it's 76 for none. Sort of Ganguly has been at times, just trying to talk to him, just trying to settle him down a bit. The adrenaline is pumping, so Sachin Dendulkar is just playing lots of shots. Oh, good shot. That's a sweep shot. Played out of the rough all the way along the ground. A beautifully executed sweep shot. This man plays every shot in the book. Played that shot very, very well. There are two men behind the square, but unfortunately for Paul Strang, 15 overs haven't been bowled yet, so both of them are inside the circle. And look at the way he finds that gap between the man at short, fine leg, and the man at backwards square. And four more, just rolling the wrist, getting right on top of the ball, no chance of a top edge. Well, the field has been changed now. One man behind square has been brought in front of square, and there's now a deep backwards square. Just to the right of your picture there. Yes, it's not easy. We've seen Shane Warne use these tactics, bowling into the rough just outside leg stump. And uh, obviously what they're trying to do is to get him to hit against the spin over the top. There's a little bit of rough there, you can see it. And he's coming around the wicket, trying to bowl it into that area. Oh, that's a great shot. Wonderful shot. Beautifully played. That one pitched just outside leg stump. He used his feet beautifully. And boy, doesn't he hit them off the middle of the bat? Wonderful timing. And what's more, that brings up the 100 partnership. There's just not enough rough for Paul Strong outside the leg stump. We have seen Sachin Tendulkar play similar shots to Shane Warne when he has tried that tactic. Here we go again. Oh, yes. Another one over the top for four. That's their eighth 100 partnership. Eight times they've done it. And I suppose more often than not, uh, this man would have dominated them. But have a look at this, uh, this shot now. This is the big one before. He hit this right off the middle of the bat. And way it went. Short again, over the infield. Didn't quite middle that one. In fact, it uh, just lobbed over the infield, and I'll get two. 
Well, this crowd. And spare a thought for the captain of the opposition. That's the end of the over. 106 for none. Absolutely uh, a wonderful opening pair. And uh, it takes two to tango. Sort of Ganguly has been down the other end. This is this partnership. 74 minutes. And uh, there's the split of runs. 81 versus 17. And uh, almost the same number of balls. Oh, now uh, Ganguly's gone over the top. Oh, perhaps he's seen the figures. Perhaps he's going to fix it. They've put on over 100 eight times. And what's more, they have 1150 partnerships as well. So this has been a tremendous combination for Indian cricket. And I suppose the mere fact that one is a left hand and the other right hand has, has helped them with these partnerships. Always a bit more difficult for bowlers if the partners batting together are left and right handed. Oh, he's got it through. It's going down to the fence. That's a pretty good shot as well. Beautifully played. He timed that one nicely all the way along the ground. And the mid-on wasn't quick enough to cut it off. No big rush. Oh, good shot. There's no fieldsman back there. That's four. Yes, I think his idea was to bowl on leg stump. And uh, that one got away. If you bowl outside off stump to him, there's no one sweeping on that side. So that'll be four every time. Once he goes outside the off stump, it's going to be punished. There are three men out on the onside trying to save the boundary. None on the off. Shot. Over the top it goes. A couple of bounces down to the fence for four. That's a good shot. And so India 131 for none. Four overs before this for 41. Well, that's one way to bomb maidens. In the time that he's got available. <laughs> Haven't seen that before, Rob, have you? It takes a little bit of time. <laughs> yes, I've never seen anyone marking the run up in that fashion. Well, as long as it works for him, that's fine. It's taken him 66 balls, 10 boundaries and five sixes. And everything seems to be ready now. Tendulkar on strike, 97 not out. 98 with that single. He's looking at his bat. He's got quite a few balls in the bottom of the bat early on in his innings when he was trying to hit the ball a little too hard. Well, nicely played, straight down the ground. And he's timed it well enough to get a boundary. This is a fine shot. This is as good as any play. Really is timed beautifully. Hasn't tried to hit it too hard. Just leaning into it. Extension of the hands. Watch the hands go after the ball. And that's very important to get it where you want it to go. It's just played it beautifully. That's what happens when you occupy the crease. You suddenly find your timing come back. And he's put that away. 
That's 100 number 21 for Sachin Tendulkar. Another fantastic innings from the diminutive champion from India. An innings full of dazzling strokes. Uh, look at the crowd. Yes, wonderful knock. Played all the shots, took it to the bowlers. Anything short, he went hard at it. And then when the spinners came on, he was quite prepared to hit them over the top as well. Zimbabwe have really borne the brunt of a savage attack from Sachin Tendulkar. Just 22 overs, and he's got 100. That's up in the air. He could be out caught here. No, it'll land safely. Right in the middle of those two men there coming in from the deep. Again, not quite timing it, Tendulkar here. Looking for the big one. Yes, this just went on with the arm, hit the outside half of the bat. A little bit lucky, yeah. He was looking to hit it straight, and it just spooned off the uh, outside half of his bat. Landed safely. Take the single this time. Olonga throws towards his end. As he knows, Tendulkar is limping a bit. The 150 coming up with that single. I don't know what happened there. He obviously drew, he drew the short straw. Grant Flower he hasn't bowled the whole tournament. Now he's got a bowl to Tendulkar, who's got 100. So that'll be a fairly daunting task. He's going to bowl to Ganguly initially, though. He's going to bowl over the wicket. Look for a bit of rough outside the left-handers off stump. Be interesting to see whether he bowls over or around to the right-hander. And that's a very flattered delivery. This will be a real challenge for Sachin. How far can he deposit these? Well, down the wicket he goes. This is high in the air. That's going all the way. Don't worry about chasing that one. Oh, a biggie. Onto the roof of the newsstand. That's a lovely shot from Ganguly. He's been playing second fiddle out here. But that's almost as good as they come. Well, it certainly has gone a long way. Sarab Ganguly. I've said it in the past that it doesn't look as if he's hitting the ball very hard. But he times it so well. Just a couple of chips down the wicket. Right in the slot. And away it goes. Yes, uh, interesting to watch how he kept his eye on the ball there and his head down all the way. That wasn't a slog, that was a calculated shot. He watched the ball all the way onto his bat and, uh, and then he let it rip. Well, at least they can still smile as Zimbabweans. They've had a very good tournament, there's no doubt about that. They've played uh, pretty well, got themselves to their first final. And here's another look at that six. Way over the top and ended up landing on the roof. And, oops. Just rolled over the back and uh, I think that's the end of that ball. So, uh, Surab Ganguly on 46. And off he goes again. That's gone the same place. That's also over the top and on the roof. Beautiful shot. Two out of two. Almost exactly the same place. Watch out. Saxon, I'm after you. Uh, Grand Flower is not a regular bowler. And he must be very unhappy now that his captain has given him the ball to bowl. That too has disappeared. Similar shot. Landing pretty much the same place on the roof and then rolling behind uh, What a way to get to your half century That's 52 now for Sarab Ganguly It took him 79 deliveries Right well the little man's been out there with the ball again and um, so two have been lost this over We're now on our third ball this over There's 22 to get 
That's it. That's another one. That's a big eight. All the way up the roof again. Oh, he loves that roof. He loves that roof. That's three on the roof. Three lost balls. That's going to be called Ganguly's roof. I think he has shares in the company that made that roof. He's certainly giving them a lot of advertising, some of Ganguly. He caught this one on the full. Didn't bother to wait on it to hit the pitch. And the way it goes. Yes, it's a lovely area for the left-handers. Trying to work it away again. It wouldn't surprise me if he sticks another one up there. So he's taken his score to 61. It certainly improved his strike rate. There's a few dents up there. Ganguly's roof. Played that one into the uh, gap on the onside for one. And uh, so the score now advances to 182. They need 197 to win this match. Looks as if uh, he's earned himself a few bob here. Oh, and he's nearly taken the umpire away. He smashed that one straight back down the ground. An umpire done. Well, he had to move really fast. You look, you can see he's gone just a little bit pale. We'll come back and have another look at that one. It's 183 for none. Right, let's have another look at this. Watch the umpire done. Nice and comfortable he is. Oh, I tell you what, that was so close. It went whistling down his end. Oh, that's a big E. That's another big E. It's over the top. Yes, it's not a long way, but it's over the top. I think they want to finish it off now. India have taken their score up to 189. So there's one ball to go in this over. It's 193 for none. A six will finish it. In fact, a four will finish it as well. A six or a four. Right out. What's he going to do? Will he toss it up? I don't think so. Dendulkar on strike. He's whacked that one away. That'll be it. No, it won't. The fieldsman. Oh, yes, it's gone. It's got the four. That's gone to the fence for four. India have won a magnificent victory against the Zimbabwe's. Magnificent because of the way that man played tonight. What a sensational knock by Sachin Tendulkar. Truly sweet revenge. Simply the best. 124 runs from 92 balls with 12 fours and 6 sixes. India just required 30 overs to win the game. They won by 10 wickets. Man of the match was Sachin Tendulkar for his 124 not out. And man of the series also went to the little champion Sachin Tendulkar. Well, how many points would you give Sachin for that? No question who won that Olanga versus Tendulkar contest by a huge margin. What a year 98 has been for Sachin Tendulkar in Sharjah. Single-handedly winning two titles for India. Ten matches in all for the little champion. Five man of the match awards, two man of the series awards, four centuries. He now only needs one more to equal the seven by Saeed Anwar. He also made 150. 709 from just 682 deliveries, 67 fours and 17 sixes. I'm speechless.